The Ghost of a Sabertoothed Tiger, or The Ghost for short, is an American musical duo consisting of Sean Ono Lennon and Charlotte Kemp Mull. Both are multi-instrumentalists and play a wide variety of instruments on their records. But in live settings, Sean plays guitar and Charlotte plays bass, with the two sharing vocal duties, often in close harmony. The two met in 2004 at Coachella Music Festival when they were introduced by a mutual friend, co-founder of Napster and former president of Facebook, Sean Parker. Mull was a young fashion model from a conservative military family, and Lennon, the son of two famously eccentric artists. When they met, Charlotte hadn't even heard Strawberry Fields Forever. It was these differences that sparked an interesting relationship. Since the two were constantly traveling for work, their early relationship was carried out through letters and emails. I guess you could call this the beginning of their writing partnership. Charlotte was a writer and a poet from a young age. In fact, the band's name comes from one of her short stories. Her musical talent wasn't as apparent, though. It was only revealed to Sean after a year of their relationship. As it turned out, Mull had an amazing voice and a knack for picking up instruments. So that's the accordion debut. She just bought that accordion like two weeks ago and learned how to play it ten days ago, right? Yeah. I don't know how much I need to speak on the omnipresence of music in Lennon's life, but I will say he had already begun a strong career in music, releasing a few projects under his own name, producing albums and soundtracks for others, and playing bass in the band Chibo Mato. You can see him here, on stage at the fictional Bronze Nightclub during the band's cameo on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. In 2008, the couple decided to start a band in order to spend more time together. According to Mull, the two would go to a cafe every morning, read the newspaper, and take lyrical inspiration from the articles they had read. The songs started out as acoustic tracks they'd work out in their bedrooms, and eventually evolved to become more electric and include more instruments as the band began playing live shows. Hello. We are the ghost of a saber-toothed tiger. This is Sean Lennon on guitar. And I am Charlotte Kent Mull on Eminem's. Take it away. In early 2010, the duo worked with Mark Ronson, a childhood friend of Sean's, to record their first single, Jardin du Luxembourg. The song was released in June of 2010, backed with a cover of Comic Book Strip by Serge Gainsbourg. The cover was quirky and energetic, while the original song demonstrated the lyrical prowess of the group with some really interesting wordplay and imagery. At this point, the duo had written quite a few tracks, and many were already rewritten to be played by a full band. But before those tracks could be released as a project, many of the couple's friends suggested they release the songs the way they had originally heard them, as intimate acoustic tracks. The band took that advice and recorded their first album in their apartment with the songs in their original forms. In October of 2010, Acoustic Sessions was released through the duo's own label, Chimera Music, an album that sounds like you are just in the room with Sean and Charlotte as they sing you their songs. Like a tree that falls alone In the woods without a sound I can't be sure that I exist When you are not around The album was received positively and the band set out on a short European tour. Among the items at the merch table during these dates was an eight-song EP made up of more tracks they had recorded with Ronson. The thing yeah. called Le Carrot Blue is just an EP, mm -hmm. and we had actually done that uh, for France only. That's why there's like a French language song gotcha. on there. Gotcha. Um, and we designed that EP just to sell it on, uh, at the French tour. Yeah. But um, it kind of became our de facto second record, but it was unintentional. It was parenthetical. Though it wasn't originally intended for wider release, in February of 2011, Le Carat Blue was made available digitally and in physical formats on the band's website. The EP included the two tracks from their first single and some electric reworkings of songs from the acoustic sessions, including one of my favorites, Robot Boy. Over the next few years, the band wrote near 100 songs in search of the material for their next record. Finally, on April 29, 2014, Midnight Sun was released. 
The band consider this to be their first real album, and you can hear why. While the songs on the previous releases were just as good, this album hits all the right spots. Bombastic psych rock arrangements performed mostly by Sean and Charlotte, glued together by the character-filled production of Dave Fridman. This is exemplified by the band's most popular track, Animals. The album was received very well, with a Metacritic score of 82. Rolling Stone magazine even gave it 3.5 stars, which is the highest they seem to review any modern music for fear of actually expressing an opinion. From here, the band set out on a North American tour in support of the record, with dates opening for Beck augmenting their headlining shows. At these shows, a five-track EP entitled Long Gone was available to fans, named for its opening track, a cover of the Sid Barrett song, which the band would often play to finish live shows. The EP was officially released on September 9, 2014, with the rest of the record consisting of three originals that didn't quite fit in with the songs on Midnight Sun, and an electric version of the song Dark Matter from Acoustic Sessions, one of many shiny examples of the band's great songwriting and beautiful harmonies. The band took a few months off from touring, with no shows from the beginning of August 2014 to the end of February 2015. That year, they played the very festival where they had met nine years earlier, with a slot you can see super low on the billing here on the Friday schedules of Coachella 2015. On May 26, 2015, another batch of four leftover songs was released as the EP Ghost Stories. The band would finish up their touring for 2015 with dates opening for Primus and Florence and the Machine. It was during the dates with Primus that the seeds were sown for Lennon's next project, a band with Les Claypool called the Claypool Lennon Delirium. Since the formation of that group, Ghost seems to have taken a back seat, with the Delirium releasing at least one project, big or small, every year since. In 2017, Charlotte formed Uni, who have put out a total of 10 tracks in the form of consistently released singles since then. The Ghost haven't played any shows since the end of that 2015 tour, but on July 26, 2019, they released their most recent single, a cover of You're Gonna Miss Me by the 13th Floor Elevators, as a tribute to its singer and songwriter, Rocky Erickson. It's uncertain when Lennon and Mull will have time in their busy schedules to work on Ghost again, but those busy schedules were what created the band in the first place. I am sure we haven't heard the last from the Ghost of the Sabertooth Tiger.